Noxifarm is an Australian biotechnology company. It's involved in uh, drug discovery in the fields of both oncology and a number of different non-oncology fields. Our first uh, drug to come into the clinic uh, is called Nox 66. It's an anti-cancer drug and it's intended to make existing therapies work better. Well, we're running five uh, clinical trials this year for a very good reason. That is that we're going to compress our, our whole drug development uh, uh, program and uh, instead of doing the usual three-step process, bring it down to two. Uh, so at this stage we hope to be in registration studies next year 2018. That means that when we get to that point we need to know exactly how to use this drug and, uh, and that's why we're doing five studies now. Well the first study uh, we're running uh, is uh, using NOX66 in combination with a chemotherapy drug called carboplatin. And the whole idea is to see whether we can make carboplatin work in patients where they, you would not currently expect it to work, and to get meaningful uh, anti-cancer effect. Uh, as to why we're running it in Georgia, uh, Georgia is becoming quite a popular place now to run, uh, especially uh, oncology drug trials. Um, they have a very good uh, healthcare system. They're well set up to, to run clinical trials, and that's why we were attracted to go there. There are another four studies to, uh, that we've yet to speak about. Uh, they are all in the process of, uh, of uh, starting right now and uh, over the next two to three months we expect that they will uh, gradually roll out and we can talk about them. Uh, as to where they're uh, being done, uh, some are being done here in Australia and others up in Asia. We, we hope that we'll be able to inform the market about progress in, uh, in any of these studies uh, during the course of this year. So all, all five studies are, are meant to provide uh, uh, readouts over the course of the next 12 to 15 months. The uh, potential for NOx66, uh, if, we, if we see uh, some positive clinical signs over the course of the next 12 to 15 months, that potential is enormous because currently uh, existing therapies don't offer an awful lot. Certainly if you are diagnosed with uh, an aggressive metastatic cancer, that is a cancer that's moved away from its original site, uh, the odds are against you surviving that uh, in the end. Uh, we believe that NOx66 has the capacity to make existing therapies do something meaningful for these people. Well, I've just come back from uh, Hong Kong because we see uh, Hong Kong as, a, uh, as providing a springboard into Asia, which we uh, believe is, is going to be important for the company's future. We have a relationship with a number of researchers up there. We hope to be running clinical studies. Uh, we uh, have a number of important shareholders and uh, funds that are showing interest in the company. So we've established a, a subsidiary company in Hong Kong and the aim is to, is to, as I said before, make that a, uh, uh, a bridgehead into Asia. One of the uh, specific uh, projects uh, we're running up in Hong Kong is a study uh, that we are doing in collaboration with a group at the University of Hong Kong. And this is to do with brain cancer, because we recently showed that uh, NOx66 enables uh, the, the active drug in NOx66 to cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain. And that makes it uh, a highly unusual and highly valuable opportunity because the, uh, the key thing in treating brain cancer is to be able to get your drug into the brain. And very, very few chemotherapy drugs do that. So the work we're doing with the University of Hong Kong uh, is intended to bring NOx66 into the clinic for the treatment of brain cancer. Well, I think uh, shareholders in the market generally are going to see a, a substantial news flow over the next six months with five clinical studies to, to start and to be reported on, uh, along with a number of uh, important R&D projects that we have yet to talk about, I think there's uh, going to be a substantial uh, news flow.